This is my pre-algebra course. Today you're going to take test number four. If you haven't done the two practice tests from the last class, do those tests before watching this video. As you can see, I have the, uh, the, the grading guidelines. Uh, you want to make sure that you remember everything, everything you need to do on this test. Put your name, date, course title, the title of the test, and uh, show the work where you need to. I'm not going to read all this again because you've already seen this multiple times, but you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this and you can use this while you're taking your test to make sure that you do everything that I require. I want you to be aware that you can use a calculator on this test. There are going to be some problems where you're going to need to use a calculator. So um, it's okay to use a calculator on the test. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the test. So get screenshots. Here's the test. Get a screenshot of the first two pages and the second two pages and the third and fourth page. I mean the fourth, the fifth and sixth page and the seventh and eighth page. So uh, go ahead and uh, Take the test and, uh, as usual, clear everything off your desk except your pencil and your calculator and your paper. No internet, no textbooks, no help from anybody. You need to do this on your own. The test should take between one and two hours. This test may take a little longer than usual because it's a, it's, a, it's a tad bit harder than uh, the other tests. But uh, do your best and uh, pause this video or turn off the video. And when you're done, we'll talk about how to grade your test. Alright, we're back. So you should have the test uh, finished. So let's uh, let's talk about grading your test. Um, let's see here. I think there was only one problem that had multiple parts. So for 21, it would be two points for, for A and two points for B. And so let's go ahead and look at the answers. So go ahead and get a screenshot of these answers. And at this point, use the grading, uh, the grading rules here to grade your test. Um, and pause the video. And when you come back, we'll talk about how to interpret your score. All right, we're back. So if you scored a 90 to 100, that means you know the material really well. If you scored an 80 to an 89, that means uh, you know the material well, but you have some minor issues to work on. And if you scored a 70 to 79, that means you know the material, but you have some major issues you need to work on. And if you scored anything lower than a 70, that means you're doing very poorly in this course. And 99% uh, of the time, the reason that students do poorly is because they just don't uh, follow my directions. They don't take the, the test seriously. They don't study for the test. You cannot take a math test and pass it without studying for the test. If you didn't study for the test and you took this test, you found out that it's impossible to pass a math test without studying for the test. You might think that you can. You can't. So uh, if you didn't pass, I don't know what to tell you. You're, uh, you're kind of wasting your time in this course. But if you did pass, I'm really proud of you. Good job. You're going to start accelerating far beyond other students in uh, formal schools. So we're starting to pick up some momentum now. So you should be proud of yourself. Uh, take that test. Put it, put it in your binder if you're using paper. And if you're using a digital notebook, keep a record of that test. So you have something to show people to prove that you uh, uh, took this uh, course. And uh, I'm really proud of you. And uh, if you didn't pass the, the, uh, the test, then you need to go back, you need to buy a textbook, look through the textbook, find problems like this, and just do problem after problem after problem after problem after problem. Because if you don't learn this material, you can't go to the next course. Uh, the, the next test, I believe, is going to be a review for the final, the final test. So uh, if you've made it to this point, again, I'm proud of you. Good job. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next class.